Good morning, afternoon, or, and or evening, everybody, depending on where you are. And welcome to the IPFS Documentation and Developer User Experience Working Group. Today is Monday, the 6th of January, 2020. And you can follow along uh, with the notes for this meeting. Um, you can see a link in the YouTube video that you may be viewing as you see this to both the information on the working group in general and to the notes for this specific meeting. Um, this is sort of a special meeting since it's the beginning of the year. We took a couple of weeks off from these weekly check-ins um, to celebrate various winter holidays. So um, this is a slightly different format. Usually this meeting is sort of key to the OKRs, objectives and key results for the quarter in question. Um, additionally, we have with the beginning of the year a rather significant rework in the makeup of this team. Um, so I want to take the beginning of this call to thank Eric Rowney so very, very much for his invaluable contributions to the IPFS documentation experience. Um, we will be temporarily leaving the group to work on other projects um, within PL. So um, Eric, you may be able to drop in on this meeting on occasion. It would be awesome to see you, but um, thank you for your service and all that good stuff. Um, Chris, it also sounds like you're gonna be joining the, um, the same effort um, at least part-time in the next couple of weeks. We'll see how that goes. So you don't get a formal thank you yet, but I will raise my cup of coffee to you because it is Monday morning. Um, Terry. We got a new guy, he's in the middle of my screen. Would you like to welcome? <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. So we have Jose Batera starting with us today from Moxie. Um, the downside of this is the reason he's starting with us is that we're gonna lose Jill at the end of this week. He's been doing awesome work this quarter. So um, Jose, do you wanna take a second to just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what, what you've done and where you're coming from and that kind of stuff? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm Jose, I'm working at Moxie. I recently rejoined because I, I used to work at Moxie two years ago. And, and now that I'm uh, actually moving uh, out of Dubai, I've been living in the past two years, and so now I'm going to uh, back to Portugal. And then, yeah, so I'll be helping in the uh, in, in Puerto School as much as I can. And yeah. Awesome. It is, it is great to have you. We are so happy to see you. What time is it in Dubai right now? <laughs> it's at 8 p.m. So you are UTC plus four? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we're we're later than Jose's normal working hours. He works until 4 UTC right now, which is still quite late for him. So, well, as we get further into the quarter and see what's happening with the group, yeah, we can talk yeah. about whether it makes sense to move the meeting or have me report back to him or whatever. Yeah. But. Yeah, and, and this is, I mean, this is largely a, a weekly level set. Um, it's designed, you know, as any other check-in that we record to be asynchronous. Um, so we can, yeah, we can figure that out as we go along. And things are still sort of up in the air um, strategically with, with exactly our Q1 plans anyway. So um, watch this space. But it's good to have you here. Thanks for joining in, in the middle of your evening. Um, <laughs> and then Jose is moving back to Portugal within the next few months. And I just want to say a big thank you on this last public call he's on to Jill, who's been absolutely awesome on the Proto School project. He's done, made that um, the regular files API tutorial right after starting and has done a whole bunch of work under the hood that's less visible to end users, but is really improving um, error handling and stuff like that. So it's been awesome having you, Jill, and we'll definitely miss you. Yeah, you've done some amazing stuff and you're just an awesome person. So thank you very much for being you and doing what you've done. Thank you guys. Oh, cool, cool. Um, so I guess really the one outstanding question, um, and Chris, I will lean on you for updates on this, is uh, when can we launch? Well, now seems a very poignant time to answer that question. New year, new products, uh, new documentation. That is the next step. So um, over the uh, the last quarter, basically finalized um, the, the remaining tasks that were necessary in order to host the docs on IPFS um, and successfully uh, have that building and deploying to IPFS now. Um, we are waiting for a few switches to be flicked from Infra in order to basically redirect um, the domain name to that. But I think that is essentially 
the the status of where we are now. So we have uh, a couple of tickets open. I can add them into the uh, the, the meeting notes afterwards, um, which I'll just keep uh, keep an eye on until everybody's back from their holidays and um, and then back up to scratch. So uh, essentially, yeah, we should have the domain running and um, basically publicly accessible from uh, the IPFS domain uh, very, very shortly. Um, and then we can execute your grand master communication plan. <laughs> Alrighty. So that is uh, the next step. So maybe you could leave us on where, what we'll do there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, so, so there are a couple of moving pieces in terms of getting like approvals on a PR for the blog post and all of that. If I were to actually start working on that stuff today, do you think that lines up with Cooper's timeline? Yeah, it should be a case of uh, maybe half an hour's worth of time for somebody to just configure that. So it's just, um, yeah, just making sure we're ready. I've tested it manually using my own DNS settings and it all works fine. Uh, so that's the, the next stage. Um, then we will have a few extra things that we'll need to obviously cover in terms of uh, writing out tasks for things that we want to include as we go forward into the new beta. Um, maybe um, keeping on some of the stats or changing uh, some of the, the profiles, so we've got a clean slate, um, and maybe uh, also merging the existing PRs that are open for the old doc site to make sure the deprecation notices are basically in place then, um, which you, I think is all part of the plan, so uh, you've got it covered. <laughs> I think that should all be covered in the comms plan. Um, that if, if that's something that we can pull the trigger on, um, you know, maybe if we're super lucky, maybe we can do that today, which would be sweet. Um, that also gives us, um, that does mean that we're sort of hitting the point with like the social media monitoring and all of that stuff. Um, so please keep in mind, um, Eric, I know that you're not really going to have time to do that, but um, Johnny and Chris, am I still cool to um, work with all y'all on just keeping an eye on the, um, the overall communications as outlined in the plan? Excellent. Sure. Excellent. Yep. Um, I just a heads up, I am going to be a little bit sporadic um, over sort of the second half of next week. Um, I'll be, I don't know, I'm going to say probably like half time. Um, I, I have to do a crazy Sherlock Holmes thing in New York, um, which I can tell you all about after this call. Um, <laughs> so, so I may lean on you guys um, sort of in the second half of next week a little bit harder just in terms of if we end up having any sort of communications mitigation that needs to happen, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, I did notice in the forums, people have already been noting the existence of our V2 repo and have been tracking our progress. So all y'all on internet land, if y'all are reading this, thank you for keeping us honest. Um, cool, I think this is probably therefore going to be a quick call. Um, just in terms of keeping the structure of this meeting, um, since we don't have any formal guidance from um, higher up in our tree as to our OKRs, um, I, I think let's just continue to play that by ear. I think we'll be plenty busy over the next sort of two or three weeks with the launch and any troubleshooting that needs to happen as a result of that. And so I think it's just a matter of between the launch and trying to start chipping away at, at docs issues. Johnny lets you and I have a chat um, about sort of ways to help you get that streamlined and get set up. Um, I don't know if any of you have noticed, but um, I did put um, I did put bounties on, I believe, eight issues in the um, legacy docs repo for um, issues that are available for payouts. Should anybody want to tackle those? I believe there's $600 a piece. There's been a little bit of attention on that already. Um, but if you know anybody who wants 600 shiny US dollars and can write well and make sense, um, point them at that. So uh, do we have anything else during the recorded portion of this call or are we good to call it short and sweet and welcome to the new year? I'll just uh, call out now while, um, while everyone's here. If anyone needs a hand with getting the development environment set up or contributing to the V2 repo um, and some guidance, maybe, uh, yeah, we can do some one-on-one -on -one time um, uh, if that's helpful. Okay. Um, and Circle CI, are we, is that wired up? Yes. So I've rebased all the, well, merged in. Uh, all the changes from the config. So they're all building and getting the green flag now. So we've got uh, a dual dependency to Netlify and IPFS at the moment. So it deploys to both. Um, essentially, 
yeah, uh, the Unetify piece will be un uh, unplugged once uh, the DNS is resolved. Okay, okay. Um, and any, I know I've got like three PRs and I'll need to rebase and I'll just yeah. do that. You can merge in. I would uh, advise not merging anything else until we get the DNS switch, just so then we can actually test all the deploys working and the times it will take. So that's, okay. that's useful to have. So, so good enough guidance would be um, merge in any existing PRs that are sitting in there. Uh, no, we'll keep we'll keep them in the queue for the meantime. But I'll keep poking in for it for the for the DNS change. As soon as that's done, then we'll we'll merge that's down. Right. We can test. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Sweet. Alrighty. All right. I shall stop the uh, recording of this call. Um, thank you everybody for joining us on this. Um, we shall see you next week, same bat time, same bat station. <laughs>